to use a cliche, but certainly cliches at, at some points are very, very appropriate. If you don't know your, your history, you have no idea where you're going as a person or as a people. Um, and I'm no expert in terms of knowing my history at all. I mean, I majored in history in college, but there's so much more that you can know. But, but, but having a, 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 a foundation of not only reading history books and studying history in school, but certainly families uh, play an awful, awful big part in terms of trying to, um, trying to focus uh, history uh, in on their children. I talk to my mother every day. My mother's 93 years old, and she keeps telling me the history of our family. So knowing your history, it, it helps you know where you're going. Now, what, what I find, and I use the example of these folks that are coming up to Harlem, whether they're white or black. Okay, you can come to Harlem, but these folks have no idea of the history of the neighborhood into which they're moving. I mean, I've always maintained that white folks have are not coming to Harlem because they love black people so much. They're coming to Harlem because they're priced out of Chelsea, they're priced out of the Upper West Side, they're priced out of out of, out of Upper East Side, what have you. Now, black folks um, are coming to Harlem because they think it's fashionable, because it's a new, hot neighborhood. But this is where the blood, sweat, and tears were spilled on these streets in order to make this neighborhood something that you might even consider to, 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 to some place where you consider living. They have no idea that Percy Sutton in 1983 uh, 1982, opened the Apollo Theater after his doors were closed for years and years and years, and that started the that became the economic engine of 125th Street, and, and and that's what started the whole sort of renaissance. I'm here to tell you, God damn.